So Miles, what's it mean to be a rising star nominee anyway? Um, I'm very grateful, but I think you just sort of focus on the team's success more and just as it comes, you just take it as it is. It seemed like it was long overdue. Has it seemed the same way to you that you've done enough to have earned it earlier? I mean, there's a lot of great players out there and a lot of young guns, so um, I just waited for the right time and just kept trying to play consistent footy. You got drafted in 19, and then what was 20 all about? What happened there? Um, yeah, obviously it was a tough year with um, COVID coming in and all that, so I just tried to get my body right and I had a couple of injuries and just focused on what I could do to get better. Um, worked with some of the older boys and then going into the off-season, just worked really hard to try and push for a spot. Reflecting back on that, did it help you, having a year out, so to speak, of footy? Definitely. I think it um, just drove me to get more motivated and work on the things I needed to work on and um, get stronger, get bigger, get more mature, I guess. Out of curiosity, have you played in the sample yet, league football? Uh, I played one game this year. And yet you've got, what, 20 AFL games? Yeah. Does that seem a bit weird to you? Uh, definitely. I think because last year like, should have been a whole year of sample, um, which would have really helped for my development as well, but um, I'm grateful for the opportunity I've had. So what's your position? <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I've been playing a bit of wing at the moment, so I'd probably say that. So which, how many roles do you think you've had this year and which ones did you enjoy the most? Um, started off at half back, played a bit of half forward and wing, but mainly wing, and probably enjoying that a lot now. How much... Um pressure did the, the draft class of 2018 put on you when you saw what, what Connor and Rosie, sorry, Connor Rosie and Zach Butters and, and Xavier were able to do and, and, and make the instant impact? You had to wait a little bit longer. How high was that bar that those three boys set for you? Oh, definitely. I think coming in, you see that and you go, oh, maybe I've got a chance to do that. But then you realise the standard and you work really hard and um, you realise the type of standard that you need to set to be able to get those games. So you feel a bit pressured, but um, you just take it as it comes, I guess. You're, you're well embedded now. What was the difference? You talk about that, that 2020 year for you where you would have probably been playing sample. What was the difference between that year and, and, and this year where you basically come into the side and stay? Um, I got drafted as a forward, and I think they moved me to the back line, um, and that changed, sort of built a bit of confidence for me. Um, focused on getting a bit stronger in the gym and just working on my running and um, just trying to get all that right and coming into the pre-season I just felt a lot more ready. Seem to have landed on a wing but what's your dream? I mean, you played nearly every role bar rap. What's your, what's, where would you like to end up? What's the position? Uh, I haven't really looked too far ahead but I think everyone's dream is to try and bulk up and get inside at some stage so maybe that. Stock standard question is what's the difference I feel footy to everything else you've played. How, how much do it hit you that it's a different game? Yeah, just bigger bodies and just a higher intensity. I think you've just got to keep going. Um, you don't realise how hard you've got to work to earn your spot and keep your spot. Advice from Ken? What's he telling you? Um, he's just telling me to play my role, make sure I do everything that they've asked of me and um, don't worry about all the other stuff, like how much you get of it. Just, just play the role and do the team thing. Who are you leaning on here? Who's your mentor, so to speak? During the pre-season, I worked a lot with Hamish Hartlett, um, working on my contested ball and my ground balls. Um, and as the year's gone on, pretty much everyone's just been a real big help for me. And settled into Adelaide, OK? Yeah, it's been good. I moved into a house with um, Xavier Dersmer and Sam Hayes, and we get along well, so... And have you come to understand what the Port Adelaide Footy Club is and what it sort of demands of people who play for it? Yeah, definitely. Um, coming in, obviously, I didn't have a huge understanding, but um, everyone's taught me a lot about the club and um, what a privilege it is to be a part of it. Has Hammer um, given it to you a little bit at all? He's taught you too well almost. You're probably keeping him out of the team, but met him before he got injured. Oh, yeah, I thank him heaps for what he taught for me. Um, he's been really unlucky with injuries and stuff, but hopefully he can get back on his feet and um, keep playing some good footy. Sure. Competition for places is it? In, I mean, you played that sort of roll-off half-back as well. It, it's, it has been pretty hot. How heated has that been throughout the year, given that there, there are a lot of boys that can play a similar role to you? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think there's a lot of players that are pushing for, for positions, and um, we've had a lot of injuries, which is unlucky, but um, we've got a strong list, and anyone who comes in is going to fill the spot as well as the last person. So you've just got to make sure that you keep being consistent and working on what you can. So Rooch asked you about it at the start, but you don't get to a point where it's round 21 and you think, gee, 
still haven't got this nomination. You don't get to a point where you think, well, will it go? How much do, do players, young players, look into that sort of stuff? I mean, um, it's an award that you're really grateful for um, when you get it, but you don't focus on it too much. You just want to play good footy for your team and try and win and get into finals, which we've done well enough to do, so just focusing on that. Well, those who have nominated, have you got a thought as to who's going to finish up with the, the big crown at the end of it? Have you looked at who the field is and who's standing out? Um, not quite sure. Um, I've, I know there's a lot of great players out there and a lot of great young guns, so um, I think a lot of players have got a great chance.